Then, LeMessurier got a message. The New York Times was trying to reach him. If he didn't respond, they would know something was up. So I mixed a martini for myself, and at one minute past six, I dialed the New York Times, I pick it up the phone, they pick up the phone, it's a tape recorder saying, the New York Times has gone on strike as of six o'clock. Not only did the New York Times go on strike, but all the newspapers in New York went on strike until October. So we had a press blackout, and that was the greatest thing that ever happened. <laughs> the press was off their back, and the weather was beautiful. The repair work continued smoothly. But late August brought the news everyone had been dreading. Hurricane Ella starts brewing in the Caribbean. And this is the one storm that they're nervous about. The repairs were halfway done by now. I think it was a one in 200 year storm that it could withstand, but the measure wasn't taking chances because he didn't know the intensity of the storm. And this was a strong storm. 